What's up, people? So, I bumped into a follower of mine at a casting today. I was at a casting and she um, asked me to do a video on tips. She hasn't landed an, landed an ad yet. She's been in the casting game for like a auditioning game for like a year, but she hasn't gotten an ad yet and she wanted some advice. And I figured that was broad enough to do a video on to help you because maybe you're sitting in Cape Town, maybe you're sitting in Joburg, Durban, Port Elizabeth, wherever you are in the world and you don't know how this casting game, audition game works. You're trying your luck but you haven't done anything, nothing is working for you and you're confused. So I'm going to tell you what works for me. Three things that help me in the auditioning process. Number one, most important one. Forget about the audition. Try to, go, try to go to as many auditions as possible so you can literally forget about what audition you went to. Because nine times out of ten, it's the one that you completely forgot about. It, that's the one that you get a call back on. Every single ad that I've gotten. Heineken, I forgot about. Kinto, I forgot about. Um, Nando's, I forgot about. What was the other one I did? Uh, Malta Guinness, I forgot. I forgot about all the ones. And... When they said I got the ad, I had to go back to the SMS or the email and check the, the fee because I forgot how much I was going to make off the ad. So always forget. It sounds very simple, but it's so important. It's only going to give you sanity. Once you fixate over something, nine times out of ten, unless that's what the client wants, you're not going to get it. The second thing, don't be intimidated by who you see at the casting. Now, naturally, you get the casting brief. You arrive in the, at the, 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 the casting um, premises where they're shooting the studios and you see all the other people auditioning for this role. Don't be intimidated. Don't worry about the guy that's been in this role and that role. Don't worry about the woman who's been in this role and that role. Don't worry about the celebs that's there. Don't worry about the famous people that's there that are actors and this and that. Don't worry. The fact that you are there with them is one tick already. Number two, they are looking for... The client is looking to be impressed, right? And when it comes to the TV game, especially ads, they don't want to overuse as a face that they've seen before. Sometimes they do and they go for the celeb, but if they wanted the celeb, they would have went directly to the celeb um, because it saves time and, and money. So it means there's an open opportunity for you to present your personality. As long as you remain yourself and you don't go there over exaggerating and being someone that you aren't, you have a like the same chance that they have to get this ad. Don't ever be intimidated by who is there. Don't compare yourself to other girls. Don't compare yourself to other guys. It's not about who looks better, who's buffer, who has the bigger muscles, who has the bigger boobs. Literally, it's, it's not about that. The fact that you're there means that you have the same chance that everybody else has to get the role. Just be honest and natural and be yourself. That's it. Don't intimidate yourself, okay? And the third and most useful tip, this will give you an added advantage when you finally in the audition room and you're about to deliver your lines um, or deliver your performance. Get to know the people around you. Each of you will receive obviously a number. If I am number 10, I need to get to know number nine and number 11, okay? Or yeah, number nine and 11. Because in some cases, you will have to audition with people and they will take you numerically you don't want to be in the audition room and then they say action and you haven't even spoken to this person because guess what the camera is going to pick up that awkwardness even though you're going to deliver the line and do the performance it looks awkward you don't want that when the client sees that video they just go nope next nope next nope you don't want that so you want to make sure that you deliver an organic process and have an organic chemistry and that only comes about by literally just greeting number nine greeting number 11 and saying hi how are you where are you from fantastic build a rapport especially when it's group auditions and where they pair you up it makes a hell of a difference just having that conversation outside before going into the audition room literally will change your performance and just add organic deliverance or performance rather <laughs> deliverance it will add an organic performance to what you're about to do and um best of luck those are my three tips hopefully i see you guys in ads hopefully i see you guys in more um auditions try to audition as much as you can and forget about every audition that you go to 
and best of luck all right go there with positive energy and be yourself don't be someone that you are not and um yeah happiness i'll see you then